Well, I guess we're back for now. Chat, let's just do a couple of rare enemy quests, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll go into chat preferred quests. So I want to say we at least did one rare enemy quest first, and then we'll rotate through and see what hoop we and help we want to do. This it seems like there's a mix of doing zoo hunts and things like that. Well, on the plus side, this character now has a veto one. I don't have to worry or think about that at all. Okay, we'll do a yellow ID one, and then we'll see what quest Helpleaf is talking about with Zeus. Then we'll uh, move things along. Wait, does he have a... Take a V to one. Probably take some heavenly HPs just to survive. Should be fun. I need 880 total health, which I pass. Yeah, yeah I'm thinking MAE. Whatever it is. E, I think. Health Weave's thinking Max B. We'll do a couple of those for Health Weave. I'm assuming Viridian, because you mentioned LNK for that. Health Weave. We're testing my memory. I do like this quest, though I need to make sure that I have three seals. Rabarda, Rafoe, Gifoe. Depending on what room I'm in, I need to be able to swap quickly. I'm a little sad I don't have more... I don't know who has my adepts. I need to go figure that out at some point, chat. Somebody has two adepts that they should not have, and I need them very badly, because I'm going to be running out of TP constantly otherwise. So chat will have to humor me with Tribe Lewis for a little bit, and then I'm going to go figure out who has it after this. So I think for the first rooms, it's probably okay to leave on before we merge. So, that leaves all my limiters, no worries. If you ever pick up another one, I'll literally just get one. I have zero, zero luck. It's so bad. Is it just all cheering sounds? What is the soundtrack? Alright, we're gonna move on from Bomberman Hardball. Sorry, Bomberman Hardball. I don't just want to hear them chanting over and over. Flesh is stomping. Yeah, we'll do a very basic setup so that way I can Gifoe, Rifoe, Resond, etc. But we'll start the quest first. Yeah, that's just, that that's a choice. Oh come on, are you really not gonna load the next song? You're killing me, you too today. There we go. Oh. Wait, he set up correct. Wow, he set up correctly? <laughs> I'm more surprised by that. I'm like, wait a minute. I actually bothered? I guess we'll power leveling in my time. So in theory, if we do find a rare dwarf on, at least we have a chance of getting Rouge. I kind of like that. enemies slightly. Funny. Leave me alone, satellite lizards. I'm able to hurt the dwarf one quite a bit here. Nice level up. I mean, that's gonna help with my TP, at least. Why I wasn't in, like, a super rush to go get more adepts. Okay, so we're gonna start stacking. I 
Steam will kill those really quickly, and then my follow-up fireballs will do damage. But, like, that's worth it. Just saves the team a bunch of time. And then, I don't know where the best place to stand is for the uh, Dwarfon wave here. Though I know after this is definitely Dwarfon. I guess I'll move towards the dive more. I'm always contemplating if I should go back to the bridge or not. Be good. Just throw out some occasional foe waves. Yeah, I should be at enough HP to survive the boss. Yeah, that's the important thing. You vaguely recall the HP total su survive set damage, and that's all you need to know. It's either 820 or 880, depending on the boss. We're not gonna worry about it. Which which one of the boss damages is which? We just need to know which ones we need to definitely survive, that's all. Slow the enemy down a little bit here. to my least favorite wave. I could spin out one before we just slow them down. I'll just try to chip the enemies that aren't killed instantly by the team. Our own main goal. Then we're gonna go back to Kafoe stacking for the rest of the area. And we can hit the wave after this, which is important. Unfortunately, I'm about to get Dwarf on, I'm pretty sure. That's fun. There's a blood. Yeah, we're gonna be very, very diligent in trying to pick up fluids in particular. So far we picked up two tri fluids, so this looks good. Rough time. This will slow them down. I don't need to do damage on this wave. Thought it was Buddha. For some reason I thought it was regular Buddha. My mind tried blanking out the horror that is the Babuda waves. That's just absolutely butchering that poor ass star. That just slowed them up significantly. I have to remember, with a strong ATP team, those enemies just die instantly. I shouldn't even bother attacking. Just assume they're already dead. This is good chip damage potentially here. So this is lore. Slow them down a little bit for the team. And I think it's going to be the Astark wave. Yeah. And we're all going to run. that I'm gaming responsibly. Between the lore and Again, 
this is pretty much like a very Gafoe heavy area. As long as I respect when the Marissa waves are. I can afford to do other things to assist the team, but like when I see like double zoo, for example, I need to make sure that I'm ready. We know the next wave is going to be Marissa waves, we're going to use some die fluids before we start stacking again. Probably could have brought a fire stuff for here, just to boost my damage. You know, at least half healthing them should make life easier. And we know it's going to be Gerda, Bulu, and Marissa at the end. Moving slightly out of the way of the Zoo Laser. that we're, we want to be towards the later half of the room. I'm going to stunlock them for now, but if I get in the middle of the room before the wave dies, I should be able to go on detonator and debuff all of them, essentially, like that. That way the team doesn't have anything to worry about damage-wise. And we're going to start stacking the Kobe. I think this wave is fire weak after going on detonator. Like, I'm in the perfect position for it. The team barely even has to do anything there. My positioning was on point. Yeah, that's the downside. If I'm not max ATP, or not max ATP, if I'm not max MST, I have to. My positioning matters a lot more than if I'm just a real casual player. Max MST, level 30, if always. At least I made the menuing pretty easy for myself. Just so I could squeeze out as much Kapoe damage as possible. That's an interesting trick. I don't think I've ever tried doing that before. To detonate the trap to make them land instantly. I think I actually want to put that in the guide. I, I actually like that. I do like to just put like little texts that people don't normally talk about in there. But we have several for fire traps, but I don't think I have that one. Just level up. As nice. we know, generally if it's used or going to neighbors, it's like just spamming the Bowie. Although, I think these enemies only take reduced damage. That's fine. As long as we still over there, that's fine. We're, we're gaming responsible. There are other Gapoe stacks that will matter here. Yep. At least every time we level, we are getting stronger by quite a bit. Basic frame. As long as I just gel in whatever's hitting me, it doesn't matter even in multiplayer. Kind of silly. Just gotta be where the Goron detonator crits. That's about it. Damn, the team's going in.
do our best to kind of debuff where possible. Tip him out a little. Lord, um, just help the team combo kill. Sorry, Rampies. Wow, none of them got spooked? That is rare. I'm just used to like two or more disappearing. No worries, if we. I'm trying to do my best to remember. So I know it's Pyro Gorons into Gorons into Clarissus, I think. So I should just keep sacking your Bowie here. Even though these are Ice Weave, I know I can chip them out a little bit by being in the middle here, which is crucial. We're gonna debuff into debuff with Bowie. He's trolling. Oh, sorry, it's Yowie's. Either way. Poor Gertabulu at the end, it's about to be destroyed. the level ups that wasn't that bad. I still have like seven tri fluids. Let's see if it's the normal one I'm gonna keep Bowie on and then switch to Rivarda. Oh it's rare boss. Hello. <laughs> right, chat? Why, hello? Not sure if I'd like the motion blur. That's usually something I turn off. Oh, it's ice. It's ice on that one on Rare Boss. I didn't think about what the spinner weakness was. This one's fire. Not that it matters when we use the blur. Oh my, what a surprise this chat. <sighs> I'm just not a fan of motion. I might turn off motion blur, to be real with you. Maybe that's why the robot was looking blurry, because I didn't turn that off in the new one. Anyway, I definitely should go there, because I could just report a merge repeatedly. If anybody wants to assist, it's up to them. I think with the other, at least two people in the main room, they can fix it. everybody here. So as long as I don't get too greedy, Rebarded Loop should be fine. Music, you took... I was gonna say. You better be going to the next soundtrack. Otherwise it paused at the worst time. So we're not gonna be greedy here. I'm gonna go for a Rebarded here, though. Okay, that's good. We can get a double Rebarda if we're good. Yeah, we got the double Rebarda. Oh, I got knocked down. Fortunate. Close. It was close. At least we can keep it in the room. We really need to. I can mag blast to fix the end. Also, I love the random Castlevania. Just bomber man to Castlevania real quick. Come on, boss. Stop wasting time. Yeah, unfortunately, I was knocked down, as I said before. I can't fix it when it's like that. Like, I was literally knocked over by the uh, spinner. There's nothing I could have done. I could even activate mag blast if I wanted to. Yeah, it was unfortunate. If if I had reacted to the spinner spawning, maybe I could have mag blasted to ignore the hit. I'm pointing. I'm like, somebody better get an Excalibur. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm like, somebody needs it. Or Daylight Scar or whatever. I don't care.
Oh, that's so sad. I don't think anybody got it. All these armors, though. What a 35 hit one. Nice, nice. I'll just sell real quick. I still need to do one more of these. Break out Boy Donna a bit more, and then we'll see what Hellcleave wants. Then we'll do some MAEs, of course. We will identify which ID we should be running on MAE when we get there. My assumption is always white ID, but we'll find out, I guess. Any elemental? Oh, I don't have any elemental or receptors. Um, that's awkward. I mean, I'll take one of my many storm ones. I guess in theory, I could make him hold my magical. Yeah, Hellcleave definitely wins for it. Yeah, see, that that one's fine. That that one I've run like a million times. <laughs> yeah, my my four is a gi. The character once uh did Christmas fiasco over and over and over again. And I remember the 22 in a row. No drops from Pazuzu to the point I asked on the forum. I still remember writing in the forum to this day. Where I was like, is the game broken? I hear I'm assuming Metal Gear Solid. It's got such a heavy beat. Added on top of it. Yeah, I guess I'll switch to magical piece when I'm in the Gavoi second room. The LNK38 and GDB as well. I did none of that. But I, I'm assuming it's a murder flower. TF is also an LK run. That's also true. Yeah, I prefer not to do anything here because I don't want to screw and wrap these. I don't care if it's a Babuda, I'm just gonna be churning the Gafoe stick, as it were. Okay, that almost kills them with Magical Peace. We're close. Kinda worth it. I definitely wanna go back for Trifluid, no questions. Yeah, as long as I bring some merges, it's not too bad. We could do our job, quote unquote. So I'm gonna delore these and go right back to stacking. Just level up. I'm not gonna worry about these enemies. We'll slow them down with Gafoe, that's our assistance. Here's where we're hopefully gonna make a big difference. Oh yeah, there we go. See, now we're able to kill them by just bringing magical piece. That made a big difference to bring. The Fire Scepter, I don't know if that would have been worth it, but this is definitely worth it. We're now gonna come over here. We're gonna respect this. Oh, my 
damage. That's so sad. I will take this down. Hey, I'd rather when it's the dwarf on the dwarf on focuses me so they, they actually TP can do damage. I'm like, listen, I didn't bring demons. Let me be the decoy. I'll take it. Operation Dummy Face Tank. Unimpeded murder is the best murder. Well, that Rappy's fighting me. Oh no. We desync. Oh, the Rappy's destroying me. Please go away, Rappy. fighting me from beyond the grave. <laughs> Parallel Dimension Rappy's here to end my uh, enjoyment of the game. So we'll do a couple of these, we'll do a couple of these, and then I'm only to do some episode two. We, we got a solid group of people that are interested in the game. An interesting run of that quest the other day. I think one thing, if I really want to run it more and teach people how to do it, that final sea bedroom with how many things need to get interrupted by the twin blaze. Take some uh, reviewing of the tapes. Oh, we done with the music already. It didn't take very long. the Bomberman X0 music. Try this again. I mean, it's probably for the best. <laughs> to be honest, that's fine. bullied. Oh, no door on to clear. That would have been something. So we'll just gradually chip them out and match one piece. That'd be fun. I guess they didn't loop the music, it just cuts awkwardly when it hits the point. Yeah, chat, we're gonna have to find another series to listen to, because we've almost completed everything. Chat, is any suggestions by all means? 
We'll probably need it in about an hour to find it again. Just like a couple more bomber mans we could just do. But we are definitely at the tail end. And let's see if stacking the Bowie here makes a difference against the Marissas. Final Fantasy VII specifically, no no no. Has to be a whole series. Maybe you could do Final Fantasy. I don't know. By Marissa. Lambert. Oh wow, 50 dead. Pretty silly. Is the soundtrack to Bomberman Zero feeling okay? There's no way that was the whole soundtrack. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, I refuse to believe. It was like, there was barely anything. Holy. That'd be real quick. We go midway in, we can get the debuff on everybody so we don't take massive damage. Even if they're not stun well. One. Oh, speaking of which. Start spamming to deal with the Mercers. Just gonna say, you can hop in the air all at once. I'm gonna get you. Really good control. This should take up so much damage, we don't even need to Nice work there. Oh, that was scary because they almost hit me. It was super bad for me. Or unlock where we can. Yeah, you're talking about for the uh, triple bomb detonators. I like being at the far end for them if I'm able to. That's nice. You get strat like that. I don't see people go for that that often. But it's nice that they're in the perfect lineup for Grand Launcher. I think we'll showcase from the there. He died so that we could continue the murder. Level suit edge. Wow, I almost killed them before they could move. Just by myself. It's pretty silly. That means, like, as long as I just got magical pieces plus that other buff. The fuse wearing ignition cloak. I wonder if that would have killed. Hmm. I mean, obviously, I still have more MST to go, but like another hundred or so. That definitely makes a difference with how much it scales. Let's reload. Well. Diva. Probably good Bowie at some point. I don't think it's like on them. Oh, 
for Esperalis. Just listening to this music and going. I don't feel any Bomberman vibes from it. What were they thinking with this game? for the most part because I'm stacking so much damage that, you know, as long as people focus like the zoo, everything else should die. That's nice. We're seeing really excellent crap usage from Fufui. Give Fufui the credit. We're seeing absolute shutdowns of entire waves. That was just taking too long. I'm like, I have to assist. If that zoo lasts more than 20 seconds, I, I have to kill it. I'm assuming it just went off somebody's. And GG to go to pretty low. It had its un with the undivided attention of the party and died nearly instantly. One of these, two one of these. Some grinders. So I guess. And if I'm not sure, I can leave it as for Bowie. Regular old sixty million. Oh, she just immediately got bodied. Oh, I just want to get through the first. But it's fire on this one. I did not misremember that at least. Problem is, I'm just getting clipped out before I can hit them. Thank you, whoever ended that phase. That was getting annoying. I guess if it was Final Fantasy, I guess we would have the Final Fantasy star rename the stream real quick. But to be honest, I don't know how much I've, of the full soundtrack I'm gonna listen to. Though. Like, do I just stop after like 10 in terms of soundtracks? And not bother with the spin off? I mean, I like Final Fantasy Tactics soundtrack, but I can't say the same about the rest of the game series. I was gonna say, I miss menu the uh, heal. Um, I might just go for Dolphin, honestly, at this point. This boss is getting kind of annoying. I'll weaken him a bit more, though, in case I'm not a good synchro. Oh no! If we pop one of them, no! Could do anything about that. It was knocked down. Rip. Yeah, that was unfortunate. If the shot didn't go out, we would have been fine. I still have Dolphin to fix this. But I'm not close enough to launch it. I, okay, never mind. Now I definitely can't fix this. I was gonna say I saw a dolphin. I can still fix this. In fact, let me just let me just shoot it. Team can stay in the main room. Just donate. I 
Because we're just gonna get hit on purpose here, and then we're gonna use our little dolphin afterwards. I swear, if he reels back right now, I'm gonna be so interested. Come on, seriously? Come on. I'm close enough that maybe this still will hit, but that's unlucky. I was purposely a, a bit further back so he wouldn't do that. But I still got him. What a jerk. I'm glad I compensated with distance. Yeah, that way we don't have to time the hits at all. Thank you, Dolphin. There we go, we're good. Oh, I can move during the cutscene. Here we go, chat. Yeah, I'm in the cutscene. Oh, I don't have any wiggles, though. Hawkleaf's got the wiggle. And only spam spells. Not quite the same. Damn, Hawkleaf with the hair wiggle. He wins. Should be near the boss drop. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say. Just, just casually walking back to the center of the arena. It's fun. Glad Chan enjoyed the mixture of the music. Dealing with the boss. Characters getting some levels. I mean, this is kind of their only purpose, I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> I mean, I can run yellow ID uh, endless, I guess, with force. And it's okay, like, you need one force, ideally, for endless one. Unless you have raw moral and three casts, then better, I guess. Yeah, we... Am I tapped on PDs again? How does this keep happening? Don't I feed health leave PDs? <laughs> I haven't even been playing since the last time we did it, other than getting red handgun. Oh well, I guess I gotta do trades with health leave. Keeps happening. Hey, do I have spheres? Uh, like 7 or 8, I think. Plus like 400 PDs for a challenge mode eventually. Go buy one. I don't usually sell those though. And sadly, they're formed from the 99 PDs. So I wouldn't really make a profit on it. There we go. Track 12 clear. So we're almost out of Bomberman stuff. Bomberman Disney Stitch Edition. What is this? Why does this exist? Chan, I'm having questions. Of course there's no soundtrack list for it, so we gotta skip that. Bomberman Chains. What is that, says Blue Donna? He's surprisingly on point. There's a single song from this game. Okay, that's not gonna work. Twist. We'll switch into, I guess, Viridian. We'll do a couple of Hellcleave quests, then we'll go into the other ones. I think we're on the final two Bomberman soundtracks. Oh, I gotta remember to put some items away, sorry. Quick. Also, gonna feel really sad later. Yeah, they just kind of sit on my character bank. At some point, I'll unlock what I need to do to actually sphere. I'm just not in a rush for it. Okay. Let's quit out. Yeah, I think since I'm the only person with the... Uh, I would probably run Forest, because I wouldn't want Health Leave to be Forest, unless you really wanted to level the Forest. I'd rather ATP be there. I'd probably have the strongest Forest.
pretty forces level 80. Uh, I don't want to force it on you, hopefully. We'll, we'll do a couple of massive attack fees, I think. I had to double check whether or not I was doing uh, anguish. I was like, hmm. Yeah, this character just has a good Bowie merge. B101, V801, Heavenly Arms, God Technique. They are ready to deal with the nonsense that is here. I did move my Excalibur off of him, so he no longer has this 20 hit Excalibur. I should probably go get a Bringer's Rifle or something. Oh, I haven't used him in so long he doesn't have the shortcuts. Oh no, he does. They're just not working. That worked. Huh. Weird. Unless I typoed it. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I want to fix my controls one moment. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, sorry about that. I'll remake the game. I think I accidentally hit something in between the quests that I didn't mean to do. And then I think I just need to adjust the chapter we're cutting. We should be good. Oh, bad. Manually type it for now, it's not risk it. Yeah, we're not gonna subject health leave to the terror that is surviving uh the Civ 4 damage. Where's rifle? Oh, I need the, uh... Actually, I don't. I don't need that. Is he a smart link? He's not. I'll bring one smart link for him. I guess I gotta get more smart links. I hunted a good amount of them while playing other forces, but I've now made so many characters I caught up. Like, I never sold them or junked them. To my knowledge. So two. Place. I mean, I understand why my regular Foley is closer, because I'm doing, like, falls. No. Oh, I didn't realize it was kept on Trifluids. Would have just picked that up then. Oh well. Even you 
18. Before we should stun lock them briefly. Not really do them anything too crazy. Still got more chances at least. It is B. Like this character is using Mother Guard Plus. That's how you know I don't care, chat. I'm like, listen, my TP it will be reduced. But die by me. You're not gonna die bomb me? That's annoying. I think you do this by now. Nope. Out of here, nice. Hmm. Oh, I should be more centered, actually. Should be fine. enough that the dwarf on gets near me if it doesn't hit me. Fortunately I get stomped afterwards. But maybe I should stand a little further away or stack him. I had Rafo emerge, I would actually get here. That's fun. Pull all the enemies together. By the time the team gets over here, other buffs should be reapplied. This makes you put Put out a single Poe to stop the charges. Dodge bombs, I mean. Take that. Okay, so if I stay roughly here, the door bomb should stop. The door bonds help far was still on my screen even though they've been dead for a while. Guess I was too close. I was gonna say I definitely had Kafoe out when it went by me, and I was definitely casting when it hit me. Not, not that interesting, sadly.
still get knocked down with Mother Gone on? Plus. Plus. Sadly not gonna get XP from this, but we'll do what we can. Support. A little close to the Marissa there, but I got saved with the freeze there. Melton, Honestly, I might as well squeeze out my fireball damage. A little higher. Perish. to identify where my adepts are. setting up for the next wave, but I guess I should have handled this one first. That enemy is annoying. Team deal with that enemy. Okay, who are we? Yes, like, stop spam. Here, roll we can. This is simple. Oh, fireball hit me at the worst time. I've got I'm more than one weapon that doesn't work. I'll deal with these enemies. Nice double freeze. Yeah, since I got a Ripoe cast, I'm just gonna have to put magical pace. 
fireball indeed. What's on draw? Went to go pick that up and I picked up the set instead of the photon drop and I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> that's not what I want. Thank you, Mother Guard Plus, for making this possible. Did I rip Bowie at the track? I think it did. Did you use Razan there to make them come outwards? Probably stuck. Probably 3 damage. Ah oh, yeah, I definitely gotta move where this position is. It's so awkward. I still keep them locked down between the Bowie's and everything else. Oh, my Lord Culminators. It's never final chat, which <laughs> like five million of those. Poor final impact, so unloved. They're like, you're not a real rare, and we just leave you alone. Ooh. Uh, fast skill. Let me pull the other Rappi. Pretty smooth. years for that Rappi to come up towards us. Uh, up versus the Marissa. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move the Kofoe Bardo over a little bit, so that way I could just do that. There we go. Much more convenient because I very rarely spam Barda on this character. Like it happens. But, like if I really need it, I'm just gonna move it. Yeah, reducing two inputs there, I think is. Like, where is he relative to me? Never mind. Any rare enemies yet? I mean, other than Conjure You, not really. Clearing it with so many minutes left on the clock. Oh yeah, that's true. We have the Marissa AA earlier. I forgot. It just it just doesn't have anything of interest, so my brain just tuned it out. Whatever. We weren't playing on like a PLC's ID. Then we'll try another series of quests. Is my Wild Arms 2 stream? Uh, not great. <laughs> I had Windows Update on me midway through, so it's gonna be a very short video. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that was really awkward. I mean, I fortunately had made a save state because I was testing something. So I did not lose, like, a super amount of progress, but it was like 40 minutes total. It was still kind of annoying. How far am I in the game? Um... We, we went all aboard the crazy train, and we just went to go build Glad and got the hovercraft. Parameter's done. Thank you, Parameter. We get some rest. And I've not played it before. Answer your questions, the fabled one. Yeah, for a spin-off, this one does feel Bomberman to me. Like some of the other ones we've listened to. Is there anybody that wants to hop in for an episode 4 run? Let us know. Hop in. The graphics are okay. The story is a mess, I'm not gonna lie. The story's, uh, needed another translation pass. Like, this is actually decent music for a spin-off. Oh, we're really early in. There's clearly a lot of translation issues. Like, I think at the six hour mark, we knew. I was like, something's going, something's going weird with this. Doesn't make sense. So if nobody else is joining, I'll start the quest up in a moment. Yeah, I don't see anything else on the game list. Everything else is just like super obscure. I can't find soundtracks for. Okay, I guess it's just us. The Magician's Intro Quest? I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, you're just talking- Oh, you're talking about the prologue. Oh, oh, oh. Um... Translation there was okay. No, it was definitely more like all the villain speeches are very weird. They they clearly were not what they were talking about. Oh, I'm way past the prologue, the table one. I just mentioned before I'm at the Guild Galad with Hovercraft. It's like 16 hours in the game. Yeah, we kind of broke the game, so I imagine the most of the game will be pretty easy up until the bonus boss stuff. That's a speed run. I mean, I'm reading the dialogue in real time. I don't think it could be a, a speed run in that sense. Yeah, we have a really, 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 really broken character. The, basically, there is no boss difficulty. I don't know if it's possible for that character to die yet, but we're good. No, Brad, Brad went boom. It's more, uh, I don't even know what it is. I, I, I couldn't even, t I couldn't even, no, it's not, no. It's the fourth character, Tim or something. I don't even know what his name was. I don't even use Night Blazer. Yeah, Tim is broken. What a what a dumb character. Legitimately no reason to play with uh well we call her Vicky, but the girl. Legitimately no reason to use her so far. For the other character. You didn't use him much. He has like a 20 level lead on every character, and he's literally unkillable <laughs> every boss battle. <laughs> like he's an actual monster. He cannot be injured by anything at this point. 
What a character. I mean, I don't like his character either, but man. I, I'm not going to argue with results in combat. Yeah, the problem was that they mistakenly let you uh, duplicate bosses in his trial. Every time you duplicated a boss, you got boss experience. Then you could just do lucky card with it. And in like 10, 15 minutes of just doing that, he got like 26 levels. Just not normal, and he has completely broken the game. Honestly, I could have gone for more, and the game would have been over faster. I think it actually would have legitimately been worth riding that. Yeah, I mean, like, I, like his personality was like he walked up to us saying hello, and then we have to name him. Like, what else are we gonna call him? The game. Yeah, the game is going like naming NPC crazy for sure. We have cliche Ashley slash Bashley's love interest. We called the dog Brad, and then in an ironic twist of fate, Brad is not Brad. And then we called the person that we think is Brad Fido. We just say they just all name swapped. Yeah, there's definitely some weirdness with the dialogue. Liz and Art are very awkward. I like the guards shouting in untranslated Japanese. That's my favorite. Like, I thought they were shouting for somebody until somebody clarified what they were actually saying, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. It's like I set the Kapoe up properly. Just walk into them. Tap them, deny them damage. Yeah. Hello is like the most unkillable beast of all time. He's tankier than Bashley. His magic resistance renders him basically immune to damage. So if enemies even bother doing spells, they just legitimately don't do anything. Awkwardly, the PD spawned as far away as it possibly could. Sorry about that, team. I'm not going to be in position for that. I needed that PD. Let's try to reapply some buffs and get our stacks going. Let's get roughly back to the center so we can stop the dwarf on charge. Yeah. I think the big issue with that game is just, like, I'm not really 100% sold on the force power changes. I think it made the mages just way worse than they should be. Had we not had that little level up exploit thing, I would probably not be using mages at all, to be honest. They're just so much weaker than all the gun users. I think the big issue is, like, they just don't have access to utility, so, like, they don't warp you between locations, they can't heal, they can't cure status ailments out of combat. It's really awkward. But they are just really heavily nerfed compared to the first game. I also feel like they should have been the ones with the early AoE, with the guns outscaling. I don't know why they decided to change that in Wild Arms 2 to be the inverse. Where I don't get scaling until guns are literally the superior option completely. Found that a bit weird. Be gelling. Del Rappi. Hello, Del Rappi. I would like you to be near me to give the team experience. Never mind, it's Rappi. At least I'm getting, like, random drops, so even though I'm max level, I'm getting something out of the run. I was worried I would just sit here, get zero PD, zero materials, level 200. 
I can't even say, like, at least I got XP. I didn't. My team's gonna do their best to clean this up. Ooh, I just like second paralysis. No. Yeah, it's okay. It's not the worst RPG we've played, but not in my top 10. I'm curious if, like, the game after that will be any good or not. I'm willing to go at least a little further in the series. Although I have to say, I am not a fan of the camera. Like, the, the, the graphics are one thing, but oof, that camera. Like, actual torture. I love that, like, there's, like, important elements in the dungeon you need to interact with, and they're literally invisible at certain camera angles. Not really well thought through. Enemies can block shift though? I don't. But, okay. I thought that. I don't know how else to explain how that whiffed twice. I was definitely within, like, screen distance of a player. It's ridiculous. Not gonna lie, I don't think you've ever seen me play this character named Ziggy. Uh, yeah, this was one of my first characters. I don't play him anymore because he's level 200. But back in like 2017, this is probably my most leveled character. I think early, if you go back in the PSO footage, he would have been like 180-ish by the time I started streaming. Like he was by far the most leveled force I had. It's just like one of those characters where I used them in like a million Christmas fiascos. I learned Christmas fiasco with this character to give you an idea when I first used him. Just because I felt like the ID just kind of lined up with everything. And then he was also my first force that did uh, falls, I think. The straight ultimate falls. Or he might have been my first TTF character. And I don't mean multiplayer, I mean single player. Pretty sure I just hard bullied falls with this course. Hopefully you're doing multi-game. Fortunately, I've received nothing to tech, so I think I'm happy. I don't- I don't think I want weapons to tech. I feel like, no thanks. Units, though, they're fine. Get those up. You're doing okay? How's Shinobi treating you, Tiggy? I saw you doing some attempts the other day. Shadow Dancer Arcade went terribly. Sorry to hear that, TK. Oh, Cleve and I had a buff off. I won that time, though. Okay. Yeah, I think I saw you clear Genobi 3, I think, specifically. Nice. 
chat is just melting these enemies. I'm surprised I did not walk into that fireball. I'll be real with you. That was not well timed on my part. It just kind of happened. Speaking of which. I'll cleave doing his best there. Debuff time. Holy, I got mauled. How <laughs> much damage it just took? Holy. This is a casual 1,200 to the face. I hit point trolling me again with defense. Now I get knocked down. Thanks, game. and no Pazuzu so far. Lots of final impacts. Lots of final impacts. There we go. Wasn't too bad. Yeah, I think we're moving on to, after this quest, the Valdivall episode 2. I'll take Hoop Weed's input for rares. I know which characters I want to level, but I'd rather just play a character that's decent at episode 2. <laughs> I'm glad we both had the same idea. We're like, if that Raffi doesn't want to chase us, it's over. Just get out of here, Raffi. We don't have time for you. Rissa can, Rissa can jump all at once, but he can't dodge the Kapoe for long.
I like that I definitely used the spell and it definitely hit me <laughs> if we traded on the burn instead of the spell interrupting. That sucks. Also, I didn't need to try fluid there, but it could be a dive fluid. Oh well. I'll pick up some armor to sell them. I just left the Gabarda behind. I'm like, listen, not interested. All right, let's see if we finally get lucky with the crystals here. We have gotten photon drops from these before. We're always gonna do the check. Dry fluid. Switch over to, I'm assuming, blue ID. I could bring in a force if King brings damage. Otherwise, I could bring in Hugh New World. I think I'm okay with either. Bring in a white ID. Why white ID out of curiosity? Just for gold. Yeah, so when I think seabed, I don't think anything interesting for what I do. Well, I think that I know we have some surface stuff. Yeah, but it's like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go white. I'm never gonna do seabed for Heaven Striker. I just do have But I think from that standpoint, I mean, I guess we could still do a white to humor you for the first, but definitely not an idea I would play normally. Oh, we're done with the soundtrack. But... I wouldn't either, but it's there. That's fair. listening to the yeah the, the music's just really low for some reason yeah. whatever we'll just listen oh does it go to tower i thought it ended at seabed my bad that makes a bit more sense now i was asking before because i thought it was just uh cca into seabed White ID tower, that I understand. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's why I was like, I was like, but why? <laughs> yeah, CCA is okay. Okay, I'll bring in a white ID for that. Yeah, that's fine. No, I think it loses the parasitic info at the end. That's fair. Sorry about that. So we'll uh I'll switch into what ID force then. Let the team carry. I mean I did bring a force specifically to do what ID tower. So I might as well take advantage of them. Wait a minute, are they on C-Bank 4 or C-Bank 6? They might be on the other C-Bank. They're definitely not in 2. I know it's yellow, purple, blue... Oh, it can't be, because it's red. That's who it is. Uh, I thought Static Thick was yellow for some... That's fine. Never mind. Characters here, we're all good. Mm -hmm. 
Also, I think we're officially out of songs. Big disc coming out. Yeah, we, we'll do a full quest if you're in summary about that. Yeah, my bad. I forgot it went to tower. One free slot if anybody wants to do some journey into episode two. We'll give a minute for people to join. Otherwise, I think we've gone through all the soundtracks that I could find. We're in the super spin-off territory. soundtrack left and we're officially out oh he already has my other bringers ah uh, so he has my adept okay so i have one of my spare adepts i only need one floating that's good to know i'll put this back later technically i had two floating but one's probably good enough i don't need to set him up then that's good he's got bringers he's got two escape dolls should be good. Password is king. More than welcome to join the remote battery. Oh, he's gone on a level up journey. Dang, it's a 170 already. Congratulations. Uh, Rain is thinking. It's that one. All the ball. <laughs> I'm surrounded by murder bots. It's actually working. I feel like I turned on a cheat code. I was playing the Fomoral, and she, I mean, she had like 4% less or something, but she's missing like every single one. Yeah, I need to learn where the, the problem waves are. We're seeing good control from uh, in particular with this one. I had enough time to lure them before they died. I help. Hello, Doctor. Just... Hello, Gibbles. Oh, I landed the freeze. I was like, get off me. <laughs> I was like, well, this is going well. Our RNG freeze is on point today, apparently, Chad. Nice restrain. We have the two flowers on either side. I remember this spawn. Which is a bit awkward to see, I think, with the new aspect ratio. But... Before, I used to be able to see both. I guess that's the downside of doing a 4x3. Some quests are more annoying than they should be. Just later is the attack accuracy recommender. I do need to see what that value is, but I rarely need to see the top of the mini map when I'm fighting.
Yeah, I think without up to heavenly HP, he could survive uh, the annoying Epsilon Blast. Especially with the use of three seals. set up for me to ground. Oh, I think we left remote back. Oh, there's There we go, I need get it in. Need to figure out which weapons to put again. That way I don't have to go through this whole way. No katana does it, but I, I just never have it on me. They believe in the 20%? Ouch. I love that jump into the freeze trap. That's like the only thing I remember from Seabed here. Everything else is just like Percy. Also, what I learned I should be doing against Del Depths is spamming special more to keep him stun longer. I'm definitely gonna use Bringers here. Kirik using the Kirik side. Seems accurate. It's like, wait a minute. Getting frozen soon. I can't even target them. We'll switch soundtracks as it deals with this. I feel very good because I feel ill. I feel very good because I play my 
And we're already very different from Bomberman. Doesn't really matter what I do to them. There we go. Oops, all trap recovery. Yeah, this room I remember we have to stay on the right side of the room. It's like if we go towards the top or the middle, or the other end, depends on what wave we're on. This is the room that confuses me. Other than I know at some point, I'm just gonna preemptively come over here. I don't have to think too hard. I'm gonna spam all specials. That'll lock them in place. Pop right over, that's so sad. Oh gosh, leave me alone. A lot of Del Depths. I'm assuming my accuracy is like zero. Is everybody blue ball? Trying to demon where I can, but sadly I'm not. I'm at max accuracy, but my attack speed is very slow. Well, actually, with Heavenly Battle, it's fine. I just don't have the benefit of multi slicers. Come on, Megan. Megan, please. Let's go to the other end of the platform, okay. The Sinnohs is where I have to go. I mean, fortunately, as a forest, I could just camp here, so even if I'm slightly off positioning, it shouldn't really matter. Okay. Reapply some buffs. I'm aware. <laughs> I said it before you did it, at least. Just, we were in the middle of the other combat. Not out of range of the Del Beater, never mind. Disregard. Unlucky. Ian, I am getting a penalty for no sparkling, but that at the distance I was standing, it shouldn't matter. Yeah, once we level a couple more times, I'll just switch off the we got HP for uh, sparkling permanently. And I need to go hunt for them. That was unfortunate.
to the side. It shouldn't leap at me as long as I'm to the side. Probably at some point. Not right now, though. <laughs> Something I'll just hunt for later. I knew they were coming, I just wasn't sure what side. I just did a point blank Rivarda. <laughs> it's like, it should in theory stop them. Ah. Uh, so it begins. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah, sadly I'm just not. I have, like, slightly too much health. Maybe I actually remove the god HP now. Start without it. See if this survives Epsilon. Good. Now at least I have a chance of proccing invincibility. Thank you, low HP. That is like the scariest way for me as a forest, and I'm like, thankfully I'm surrounded by a lot of casts, <laughs> or else I would just be dead instantly. The quadruple Ogil is brutal. I'm kind of demons there. Alright, now I'm hearing more of the Bomberman. There we go, there's my invincibility. Long enough, I was fishing before it. Actually, I gotta be careful. Three seals might get me killed.
Oh, the Heaven Striker should be able to shoot the boss while it's off screen. I'm just gonna mash debuff since I know that also hits off screen. Otherwise, I think not Kyrick is just gonna mow them down with Vulcan. I shouldn't have to do too much here. But I do technically have Bringer's Arm to do some damage. Motion blur, it looks terrible. Note to self, this will be the last uh, last video, I think, with motion blur. We're turning that off immediately. Super do not get the appeal. That looked bad. Feels like what happens if you accidentally put like oil on the screen or something. It doesn't look quite right. There we go, I contributed 2,000 damage. No, like a 1,000 damage. I did it. I am the DPS now. Ha! <laughs> dead already? Yeah, three casts equals GG. I'm just here to debuff. That's my only purpose. Naturally, just leveled enough. He's fine. It's nice that this quest also gives tickets. He ups the reward total. I think if I need anything else from here. This will take my last smart line. Yeah, I need for the other forces. Yeah, I'll have to hunt more smart links at some point later. I don't remember what run I did specifically for them. It's been a long time. I did- that was like front-loaded. I think the last time I went for Smart Link on purpose was like 2019? Because I was like, let me just get 8 or so. There's no way I'll need more, I thought. Which to be fair, that was as many melee and range classes as I had at the time. I think since then I've picked up a couple, but... They've never been the main home. I think it's a uh, pink ID, right? Pink ID episode one, and then blue. I, I think I got them while I was doing the limiter run, and then maybe I got a couple unintentionally from Pod. And then I gave up on limiter runs. <laughs> I want you to know, I did War of Limits, I think upwards of a hundred times. Not a single limiter drop for me. It was, it was pretty woefully unsuccessful. Is it, I think my Hugh Neural gained like 15 solid levels from just doing those runs over and over. Maybe 16. But it was not fast XP, because I didn't have really good items at the time. Yeah, let's try this combo, that'd be a little more accurate. Technically, I should be feeding the mag. 
So what I should do is actually... Oh no, I have Mono Mates already. Good one. Disregard. His power does matter a little bit for this character. Even though I'm mostly using demons. soundtrack actually Yeah, I saw some very interesting Q cast gameplay through, I think this and one other stage. Just the, the free strap into the, the triple Q cast uh, dark flow was interesting. So each of these gibbles just gets basically one shot by a Q cast. It's very silly to watch. Lay attacked out of the range. Get away from me. It's okay. I'll be the decoy for the team. Operation Face Tank is a success. in the gibble. That's bad luck. Rough time. Landed a demon. Better than nothing. That wave is scary. 
Keep this out on point. I remember trying this a long time ago solo and went, what the? And just immediately died. Which <laughs> is pretty much it. That was the journey into episode two. Being in the corner there because it's sending up from really good sniping areas. We could just do that as the force consistently. All I want to do is land demons without being harassed too badly. following Juicy Beaver. Hopefully you're doing well. Ooh. Thanks for going there a little early. I don't want to be next to these. Even though I know this is the safety for my poor self. I was gonna say I was not sure if that would hit. There's the invincibility I've been waiting on. This this wave just seems heinous, I'm not gonna lie.
love the team damage, just mowing through them. Leaders are gonna hit me anyway. I'm gonna just stay around here ish. <laughs> Last time I went too far off the ramp, they just crushed me. That much I remember. Is there this version of tower? Demons, there we go. I'll do this to stop myself. Uh, last time I got punished hard, I'm not doing that. And these enemies melt. I almost feel bad for them. Okay, that time they can leave. I was almost thinking the music falls, there's just silence in the outro. It's fair. I love how, like, it does feel like since I'm the fours, I usually just don't want to move from the spawn. I love how the game, like, just actively tries to destroy the players that are just in the center. I love this quest. Like, peekaboo, suddenly eight no lilies, get wrecked. Go ahead and deal with that. One demon. There we go, there's my invincibility. 
There we go. I've manipulated my health total to be optimal for this area. For just every Epsilon Blast is almost guaranteed if Night Blast. Hopefully. I'm like, I'm pretty sure they were spawning over here. Nice start on my side. There we go, there's my base. Look at that, I'm sort of doing health manipulation right. Like, I am actively moving my HP lower in order to trigger it easier. ATP, he just couldn't buy. It's okay, I got demon. Oh, that's unfortunate. I, I was literally stuck on him. Off by like one step. Give me alone, ill gill. Don't make me normal, 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 you. I'll do like 30 damage and there's nothing you can do about it. There we go, there's my invincibility, so I can mag feed in peace. <laughs> Chat priorities. There we go. Just just some casual, you know. I want that try fluid for sure. I technically do more damage than I did at the start of the month. There we go. Topping everybody's health off. Uh oh. The Hulk Leaf's still at the start. Hopefully, Hulk Leaf is still there. Otherwise, this is about to get really hard. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm using its weakness. I did it. Well, I'm doing 80 damage. I did it. Moving up in the world. I'm just thinking, how long would that take if you were MST only? Beat this boss. Is everybody praying to the bar to gods you do any reasonable damage to the boss? The Grants was doing 80, I think Barda was like 140. <laughs> it was bad. I mean, you can optimize it, but man. How many casts would you kill? though. GG. Three years. That seems accurate in Parameter. I'm a ghost. He did as a ghost. Five hit King's Gladius. I 
guess I'm up for one more. And we'll do one last series of quests. Might just be a couple of TTFs though. for the night. No worries, you please. Um... I guess then we could transition over to TTF if the team wants. Unless there's another rare enemy hunt that the team has in mind. I think, for example... Offhand, I only think of Temple at this point of stuff that I want. Love I can see the mouse on the game screen. I mean, always need better Frozen Shooter. Yeah, let's do a couple of those then. Just thinking what ID would be best. Probably white ID, right? I think green ID is okay for red handgun. Although it's also technically fine. Yeah, I'll just... I'll remain on this character. Yeah, it's more the ult rares, Hoopwee. It's just because, like, you could just be getting other rares with it. But, like, white ID is red saber. It's not bad. Mila. Say as this character then. Make it simple. Purple is Lava's cannon. That's true. No worries, remote battery. Let's do like a Terrell's or something. Hunting specifically Frozen Shooter Viridia is the best. I was gonna say, that has to be episode two. Just some basic Terrells in the beginning. Oh, oh yeah, that's painful. team after this if you got room oh yeah sure thing you can join i'm a battery you're always welcome i was like trying to remember i was like did i invite you i think we talked before maybe you were gathering stuff yeah you could probably cash out your thing you could probably cash out your team points if nothing else we still have one slot open for anybody that wants to join in i'm gonna go sell items by the time i come back we'll start up so as always, we're in block 2, password is K. Just immediate 50 hit weapon. I did a double take on that. about it because i think i got a couple handgun milas from this so i think i have like three or something like that 
Like it's not a it's not a super low amount for what it is. Do you like Tempest Cloak here, plus three seals? The reason being is that all I want to do is be stunlocking these stupid uh, hill delts for the team. So if all I'm doing is spamming lightning damage anyway, it's fun. And whenever I get a chance, I stack the Bowie. Like here, I'll start stacking. What is this spell order list? Okay, we gotta fix this later. It is really gonna bother me. The reason we stack a Poe, for people that are not aware, uh, it basically instantly deletes all the wolves. It's just free crowd control as well as the uh, Rappies. For the rest of the time, we just spam lightning. And I don't really need big buffs for it either. So if I'm gonna be spamming lightning, I'm gonna make sure lightning does some damage. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the smart link for anything else. Got excited, I saw Diska, and then I saw what it was. The excitement ended. <laughs> the excitement began in start in the, almost the same frame. The oh, really deep in the room. They get me shocked a few times. Right, so we're gonna go for the cheeky clear. Right here. The other reason we buff uh, lightning damage. Don't mind me. Yeah, that's fair. I love that clear. <laughs> I guess it technically saves time if you're just doing resets. I could do a quick little check here as well. Yeah, no rares. Anyway, I should probably be close stacking. Oh yeah, speaking of which, what is going on with my list? Bowie, go to the top for now. I need Razond in a place that I can reach it and get going. His tech menu is all messed up. Got some time to fix it. So essentially what I want to do to save the team time here is that eventually I'm going to telepipe right near the warp thing to save us a walk later. I want to be spamming Gafoe just because it's start moving towards the other end of the room because I need to stunlock the hill belt eventually. The downside is I can't really kill Talos. I'm basically immune to the stuff that I want to hit them with. I prefer not to fight them. Avoid it. So if I do this, the team the team never needs Kira Shock. So if we're like a man down or not in the right position, it's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. That'll be for later. Technically, I could have did that in school, uh, while I was spamming Gafoe to save some more time, but whatever. Yeah, this room I find kind of annoying to not get zapped by them. If if I don't trigger the fast walk, they never hit me. But if they fast walk menacingly, then there's usually a big problem here. Okay, we want to stack Gafoe because there's going to be a lot of wolves here. We just did like 2,000 plus damage to them. We just have the rest. Yeah, the reason we telepipe there is that this room is not worth walking back from. So basically, once I do this box check and we clear the hill to build it towards, we'll just move on and uh, be happy, I guess, as it were. I love that I'm stunning the Hildale through the wall. Good job. 
I love you three seals, never change. I could probably go on the other side though to help a bit more. Even without beta one, I don't think my cast speed is that much slower. But somebody else needs to teleport. That's not me. Run near my telepod. So basically, if we're like in a four man team, one person could even just go on ahead completely from my work. They don't even have to come in this room. Three man, I don't know what the best strategy would be. Uh, it, it happens, you just kind of do whatever. The other person could just start the entire other room, which is funny. Oops. I think nobody hit the switch. I'm gonna go back for it. I guess that's technically on me for not hitting. I'll, I'll take a look at that. No, I think I was technically closer. That's fine. That puts me out of buff range, which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, mix of Gafoe Rasan here will clean everything up. Hopefully I don't ever have to cast Rabarda. Here we're able to clear the moss pretty easily and stun lock the hill downs. In between waves, I'll just spam Gafoe. I like this Rasan somewhere I can actually reach. Even while partially awake, there we go. That's the strat. Any wolf that spawns six damage, Rappies that spawn take damage. Other enemies just kind of get hit and slowed down, which still helps with clear. What's on draw? Not bad. I know I haven't fought the double hill belt yet, so I'm not gonna leave. That's my rule of thumb. Oh, I see the double hill belt. There we go. That's how we know it's the final wave. Now, fortunately, everything should just be weak to me on this wave. So I can just kind of clean up. Like one of those few times where I'm like, yeah. I got this. Go revive health, please. I love that if you stand on this little lip over here, no enemy can target you. Which is amazing when you're playing with Rezond. <laughs> it's very stupid, but I love it. Of course this can cheese this area is so easy. So we've already killed all the hill down, so at this point, I'm just stacking to slow them down. We're gonna get ready for the hill bells roughly in the middle. Oh, unless that was that wave. Oh, no, 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 no. My bad. I've got the door open before then. Silly me. Okay, we're nice. I came with machine percent, that's good. I was off by a wave. Well, anyway, I already killed this room, so I guess I'll pop the boxes. <laughs> Might as well just do dragon. Yeah, normally we would just end at that point if we didn't see anything spawn. I guess technically white ID Millily has a Cheeto, so we might as well just do a Lily check. Here. 
That way it could do more damage in episode 2. Bazooka Ng is real. So that was slightly too early. We get the damage bug. I love that the dragon's roar is considered background music. I con contemplated if I wanted to ever say something in the forum. It's like, why is the dragon roar music? Why you don't hear anything when we kill that dragon? Damn, it is. Oh. Right, we'll do a quick Lily check. Anything fun? See, if that was single player, that would have been GG to them. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. That's a shame. That's a shame. So I could quit out here. I could just finish the wave. Yeah, at least check here when I'm doing multiplayer on the off chance we see Lily. Similarly, if we do a uh, purple ID, we can do the purple ID check. That is the end of that soundtrack. Awesome. And what we'll do, uh, we'll move to purple ID just to give a Lily chance. Why not? Switch back over to Waluigi, but this time with uh, useful items. At least now I have a floating out of. I just needed one. I, if I have two, it's ideal. One is good enough. So I really just like needing to like scrounge for trifluids while doing episode four runs. Just a waste of time. Actually, I don't even need to hand anything in. Go to... I don't have any shields by accident that I forgot about. He could keep this smart link, because he at least this is gun every now and then. We'll do the same quest, but on purple ID. And then I guess we'll wrap up with a couple TTFs. I mean, technically, if it's rare enemy up, I guess we should, in theory, be playing Red ID. To try to get, like, Lava's Cannon. We have officially moved to Final Fantasy. Oops, the right clock. Double adept? Odd. Earlier, that is Alright, I'm doing one thing. I'm gonna humor myself. Forest? Empty. Ah, so they're doing some. I was just curious how many people are actually doing anguish. to hop in. Got about a moment or so. I basically just want to go get this out of Body blocked again. Although funny enough, I don't even need cure paralysis. Even if I was doing caves. Horses are pretty good at not getting paralyzed. We'll just set this out for out of Emphasizing our lightning damage to kill things through walls. Should be good enough. So yeah, the reason why we do purple ID, amongst other reasons, is just if we're doing Terrell's Ego specifically, it's just a free Lily check for Mill Lily at the end. Just, it's, it's one of those you might as well as since you're there. 
I mean, it also gets Red Handgun, which is fine, as well as Heavenly Arms, so it's not too bad. And of course, Tallow slash Lava's Cannon. So it's, a, it's a pretty strong Terrell's Ego reset. And that way we can say we technically did a rare enemy hunt. <laughs> Several Terrell's egos, including Mill Lily hunts. Ooh, the full camera. Final Fantasy 1 opening as we linger across every area. make use of wherever my texts are. As long as the Razond is within, like, three, I think I'm good. Yeah, so that saves their need to use a Cure Shock, and they could just focus on damage, whether that's something like a Proof of Sword Saint or whatever. Okay, so we're gonna do the dumb check through the wall. You know, as you do. Right here-ish. Close. That way we still kill the room and or stun lock things in this room while the team fights. And I just kill this entire wave in the meantime. Such a dumb room. I love you lightning damage for this. Normally team just does a quick check here, but if they're just going all in and killing them anyway, I might as well do that to check them. I think what I'll do this time is once these moths are down, what I'm gonna end up doing is just walking to the next floor. Oh, the team already beat me to it. Let's get the way about here, this might be a better position. Yeah, I mean, look at that, they're almost dead already. Thank you, Sakatoi. We're gonna chip all these enemies out. GG. Love this. Yeah, if the team volunteers to go in this room first, I'm like all for it. This is like the only time I'll get Cure Shot. I'll need Cure Shot. Okay, so let's stack some good forward for the wolves. in like reasonable kill range, which is nice. Uh, 
that switch. We can lightning the enemies from here. So help, help them on the other side. Yeah, I love this character, Purple ID Force. I love this quest. Rescue from Rep Oh, we should maybe do Rescue from the Fall. Well, that's a fun one. That, that's a that's a really good Purple ID quest. This oops all Millily, potentially. Do I have the HP to survive that quest, though, if I hit a fire trap? Well, I guess we have other characters with us. That's pretty fun. Oh, he took his work before us. Not fair. GG got trolled. <laughs> yeah, once you take that warp, it disappears. It's unfortunate. I mean, sadly, that was still faster than walking. I'll be real with you. And this time, I'm gonna hit this one. Yeah, walking is like 12 seconds. That was like 8 seconds. We still save time. Fun. Our heart was in the right place. It's like the force just wants to see like millions of enemies that you could not possibly possibly crowd control. The force loves lots of weak enemies like this. Yeah, we'll slow enemies down with that, but we'll just do something. Why am I too damage here? Oh, we're not, I just the little beer and goes on damage. It works. Bowie okay. stacking. Such an awkward menu. Just that later again. It's better than what it was before, but it's still awkward. And yeah, since we chip them out with fire, we can just kill them with lightning while cutting the hill belts. I just like this combo so much. Because the moss take lightning damage anyway. Waiting for double held out, and then we'll leave. We know it's double held out because they'll always slam next to me. Oh, look at that, we saved a spell cast, I think, with our setup. That works. Should be double held out. I'm gonna do this to chip them out a little. Slow them down. I'll clean me while I was so low in the other room. Just casual split play. I just didn't trust it, I just wanted to freeze them. Yeah, that is kind of funny to me. <laughs> There's four enemies. We just skipped this entire room. See, before they up the item count, doing this strategy was really bad because the enemies would always despawn items, because I think the cap was, what, 50? Chat remember back then? It was bad. It is much better now. It, I think if there's still a limitation in government quests, it's something that doesn't come up too often. But I really appreciate that change in quests like Torel's Ego. Just 
standstill regen TP for the lilies. Almost got it slightly too early again. I'm not gonna dodge. We just did choose to take it to regen TP. Even if I rest up, I'm gonna earn it back right now. TTF, actually. I don't, I don't think I'm in the mood for TTF at the moment. Let's just do uh, Rescue from the Goal. That'll be our final quest for the night, I think. But I'm feeling quite exhausted. Yeah, they take... The Nano Dragons take okay damage from Lightning. Unfortunately, once you play multiplayer, it's just better to use ice in caves. Single player, though. Hmm. Yeah, so as long as we have at least one cast rescue from the ball isn't too bad. The fire traps do a lot of damage. Let's do that. Maybe we'll get Frozen Shooter and or Mill Lily. I figure it's a quest we normally only run during, like, events. And I do actually genuinely like the quest. Final quest of the night, if anybody wants to hop in, otherwise we'll get started in about 30 seconds. <laughs> Hearing this, I'm thinking about teching. Hmm. I don't think my setup really changes. I mean, I have Cure Paralysis if I want to get through Lilies, and I'm not feeling confident. I'm kind of squeezing out damage with God Technique at a Vito 1. Do this. Do that if I'm really not sure. Okay, we'll get started in a moment. Playing rescue from help leave. Yeah, this quest ends up having the dragon boss, which is okay. More importantly, it's a good mix of lilies and tours. So if you're bored of just doing one of those hunts, do both of them combined. Yeah, 
beginning of the quest is okay. It's the tail end of the quest. In particular, the last couple areas of cave and as well as forest. Hmm. Beautiful quest. Consolation Prize in Caves, Spices, Spices and Lilies are not bad, Consolation. That was a ridiculous paralysis, everything was stunlocked there. I'm foolery. Just remember, respect the traps. If you're a new player and you've not seen how much damage the traps do in this quest, they're stupid. I hope I don't get hit by them. I think I will actually die at 956 HP. I'm pretty sure I will not live that. They, I swear they do more damage than Epsilon. Their damage is like really whack. I don't know why it's so high. I'm thinking, I'm thinking with my current setup, I'm gonna take about a thousand and die. Oh dear, indeed, yeah. So we're gonna hopefully never trigger a trap. I never really understood why episode 1 trap damage was so high. But in this quest in particular, it is merciless. Caves does at least 950. Farce does like 1100 or something ridiculous. Like, there is there is a 0% chance to survive a forest fire trap. I might survive the cave forest, or the cave fire trap, I mean. Sadly, no enemy spawns over there. That's one thing I would wish they added to the quest. A little extra. They get stacked with Bowie. enough time for the free strap and that's all that matters. That HP material. Yeah, the general rule of thumb from what I remember from when I usually play cast here is if you stick to the center of the room you will never hit a trap. If you go to what would be the if you draw like an imaginary square in the circular rooms, if you're at any of the four corners, you're probably already dead. Do this to stunlock the whole room, so if the team doesn't have EDK, it's a pretty good lockdown point. Um, dependent on the team to clear here. Sadly, in single player though, this this clears the entire caves by itself. Rasan is so dumb. No. Oh, you hit me. Remember, if you die, you basically make the quest fail. You really do not want to get hit by insta kill here. these 10 arms to pop up. And technically we could ignore them, but they're here. As well as we use them a little. Oh, it's trying to freeze. Unfortunate. Our material for my trouble. Yeah, I just gotta be careful. I never want to go in a room first, but I should be close behind them to deal with Lilies. There's like one really bad spawn. If you don't have a force, I'm not sure what you do. 
rather than just be straight up immediately. There's a fair counterplay. Yeah, we don't have too much to worry about here. Again, this is where Razan can just stall like an eternity. But basically, Lilies don't get to do much as long as I'm in the room. Well, that kind of compensates for people that don't have like the cool dress play combo where they didn't bring it or whatever. So I'm just used to doing that strat just because it's so safe. Although this this one is so sad. They have like the lone Crimson Assassins come in one at a time. They don't even come in as a duo. Like, they just stand no chance. There's also a decent number of boxes that are in this quest, in particular for caves. We'll be seeing quite a few boxes, I think, in the next hallway. Well, technically also here as well, but. Yeah, super. A vice with an unknown amount of hit. I'm gonna stretch my item reader later. Could be good, probably not. Nope. I'll up in a little bit. Okay, we gotta respect the Lily. Do not die to Lily. It'd be very sad. basically edge up very slowly and try to kill my target. And this perfectly where the Lily was. Alright, I'll use Ripo Wings. Another Vice, no hit. Bad. Yeah, that's a consolation prize. So if you feel like you're doing, like, runs and not getting any rares, uh, okay stream of, the, of vices as you play. And my Razan should make sure that nothing should be able to beat at me. But I do need to use other spells for damage sadly in multiplayer. room I think is the room where it's brutal without a force. Because they basically form the equivalency of the episode 2 uh, T formation. Kind of annoying to hit because you can't line them up easy. I think that one is the I really gotta fix the item reader. How much? 30? That up text into 40. Not the worst vice ever, but it still needs to be like 45 to be worth it, sadly. I guess I'll hold that on for new player. Not too dissimilar, dissimilar to giving them 40 hit gallon. As I said before, I fear the I fear the edges of the room. I'm gonna believe in you guys, <laughs> both of you, to uh, make sure I don't die to them. I know there's even some near the lily, which is ultra mean. Like, if you go to melee these, you just kind of die instantly. I'm stunlocking the whole room. Okay, where does the lore? Oh! Did so much damage. Oh my gosh, that was way more than I was expecting. I'm not used to caves actually hurting me that much. Must have some far. No? 319. like, ooh, that would have been an awkward way to game over. Unfortunately, we're coming up to our first healing circle. So 
feel free to go to where health leave is going. It should be in there. I don't need to go in there, so I'll just I'll stay out here. But if you need to restock your traps, just go in the room beyond. I'll deal with this room. These enemies are technically optional, but I always kill them. Stun lock is real. Okay. Getting ever slightly closer to the dragon boss. Lots of boxes again. Yeah, I love without RBR or XP week. We're gonna be getting a little over 100 XP a second here. Considering it's almost all forests and caves, it's pretty silly how good that XP is. But just the sheer number of enemies killed means just a lot of PD chances. So I'm okay with that. Oh wait, well, I don't need to do that on this character. Not that it matters much. Downside, the boxes aren't like set, so, and they're also pretty spread apart. Sometimes you get materials. <laughs> I mean, we're getting closer to the battle arena. I do like that it's a quest that doesn't end at the battle arena. I like that the battle arena is just kind of like the me the middle part of the quest. You know what? Um, speed that up slightly. Um. The team saved me on that one. I just unlock the hill belts for them. Unlock is real. Now we can see we go to the next one. Yeah, downside to this quest, I don't get a lot of good we stack moments. Until later. And I, if I'm just looking to clear. Yeah, like, there, technically, if we had four people, I would have considered Kapoe stacking, technically. But I am DPS. I need to do some DPS. Okay, whenever I see a wave with a lot of Talos, I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna participate. I'm preparing for the next wave. There we go. with the Rappies with some stacks. Yeah, unfortunately when you're coming into caves, not a lot to stack in comparison to Forest. At least now we're at the mostly stackable parts of Forest. Happy Kapu. Got a happy little Kafoe. Got one Gafoe out. I started Gafoe stacking. Okay. Once we open this, there's gonna be a healing circle. 
We're gonna believe in the mini map to tell me where the enemy is. But the team does need more freeze traps or whatever. Keep in mind you can go back there and reset. Although, to be honest, it's pretty much forest for the rest of the way. So, your judgment call. Red handgun, nice. Here we go. See, we're getting the, the array of rares we're expecting for Purple ID. We know how we're gonna end the stream now. We're gonna see how many tries it takes to take this handgun. Thank you for the mod materials. You ever stack those? Although, if you want, you could probably just keep them to uh, trade for PDs. They are worth stuff, like 99 stacks. Had to trigger it. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, hello. I thought about donating, but I'm like, there's no way. I, I didn't believe in somebody saving it. I didn't believe. Is there a point to going up? I'm trying to remember if this. I guess. No, I guess it's fine. I guess this area is the side area for more enemy. This should be kill modes if they right here. I was trying to think about which rooms were optional, because I was like, where is our destination? And I'm like, alright. So there's one last trap that I have to worry about, and chat will take care of that, because there is a 50-50 choice with the switches. I th think the right thing. We'll see. Let's go up here. Our destination is to the left. But we'll check out the side here. It's pretty close. See if anything ambushes me for taking these. Dude. <laughs> I was like, hmm. All the wolves should die, I don't need to worry about them. I need to kill the moths at the point. Even though they're definitely mosquitoes. these switches is real. Looks like it was the left one that was real. Hopefully you're just casually cleaning up the room. Oh, there's more hilt outs. Oh, room's not over. Oh, those one already. These should be the last two I need at least. Oh, fuck on draw. Oh, where's that? Oh, there we go. <laughs> That'd be a terrible way to lose that item. We're now in the final area. It's ironically forest one. So many enemies. I love this area. I feel like if you're playing with a really strong team, Anguish one is so fun. Although I haven't played with the new Anguish here. Maybe one day. Maybe during anniversary we might swing back through here. See how we feel with Anguish One. That's more of a four-player team though. Two forces spamming Rizond is pretty hilarious. It clears pretty much all the forest. Because there are just so many raw enemies. And unless like literally everybody's a ranger, it's kinda hard to deal with the your number of them in the rooms. I 
love that sight there. Our goal is eventually to go to the left. I'm just gonna make sure nothing spawns by coming over here. We'll lock down some enemies. Hold on, draw. Hey, remember how I said this quest is good for PDs? Pays off. I mean, there's even box rares, like over there, or cancer the box rares, I mean. Why I really do like this quest. There's a pretty good amount of boxes overall. Even if I'm, like, not actively going through this area, sometimes I'll end up with, like, amplifiers or barriers, depending on which character I'm playing. But yeah, I definitely prefer purple here over the other IDs. But technically, yellow is okay. I know yellow has some very, very, very silly draw potentials. I think this is the rude you try to enter the room and they just cut you off with Tello. Is that this room? Oh no, it's the other quest. So we're almost at the final room. You know we're on the final wave when we see the double guard near the door. For now, we'll just do what we can. You can see even with Adept, I'm burning through a lot of tri-fluids. This quest can be a little, I guess, rough for new players. There we go, they're so done. Okay. Here's the big quest. Just make sure don't hit the console until everybody's collected items. There's gonna be a ton of boxes in here afterwards. I will do my best to stack, but what happens? Love the chaos of this final room. Spam the Bowie, not because it's necessarily the weakness of the room, I just want to hit the Rappies. Because eventually there's going to be so many enemies in here, I'm probably going to miss them. Yeah, but this room, like, oh. Coming in with, like, decent native percentage. Clearing this room. See that we're at like 110 XP a second, with just three players. Like that to me is very silly. That level of XP, given that it's just forest. Like a little bit of caves. Take that all day. I was gonna say, meanwhile, doing seabed maybe getting 70 XP a second. So we popped all the boxes. Take some time. All these barriers, because I need to make some money back. Still a Rappy that hasn't gotten up. Mesa Adamant, not bad. GG. Sadly, no rare enemies there. Hold on, chat. We're gonna do some mini bets. How, how many tries do you think it's gonna take to identify this place? I'm assuming we should have good odds because I'm purple ID. But at the same time, the drop table's kind of whack, so it might not have place. This should, in theory, be under my preferred table, but it doesn't have every rare. So we'll begin identifying it. And That's one. We got negative first. No, three. No, four. No, no, five, I think. Oh. 
track to see if there's seven or eight. There's just a certain point where I stop counting chat. <laughs> this is, we'll say this is nine. Just becomes so tedious. Maybe this is count number ten. Nope. Even if I miscounted, we're at least at 11. 11 or 12 right now. There we go. That took either 12 or 13 rolls. To me, that was probably the best I've rolled since the thing has started. Yeah, I mean, like... You have to also put it in context, like, this is a character that's gonna be rolling, like, a whole bunch of these. Out of curiosity, what was their attack chance? Let's look it up in real time. Was that even part of- was that part of my weapon set or not? Let's learn. So they get the plus 10%, they're a 5%er, but Vice is there, so they had an 8% chance. So, that's pretty bad. So guessing like 12 to 15 is probably about on par. But he heaven help you if you play green ID re-rolling for red handgun. That is the worst feeling for sure. I was thinking 15. I didn't name my guess. Because I had a feeling it probably was the preferred weapon. If it wasn't the preferred weapon, I would have said uh, probably 22. I'll hand in the quest, get some money. Yeah, it all depends on what ID you are. Like, if, you, if you're if you green and you do it, it's horrible. If you're, like, sky, orange, pink, it's fine. Red's also fine. Just if you roll it with, like, green, viridian, white, yellow, it feels terrible to get that item. You just feel like very arbitrarily punished by the game. So that was like a semi-reasonable, still three times more than the normal amount before the patch. Not great. But hey chat, 30,000 Masetta is pretty good. A good quest reward for the length. At least I can get my tri-fluid money back. I guess we'll pause here for now, chat. Let's talk about how we feel things went. Um, PDs, PDs, PDs. Random Vito one from earlier. Maybe some alt rares dropped throughout. Nothing, nothing like super crazy. No banner drops. But overall, not bad. So we'll probably take a break here. Oh, that reminds me of Remote Battery. If you wanted to join our team, let me know. I'll, I'll stick around for a couple minutes. But I think from the standpoint of YouTube, we're done for now. If you did watch to this point in the video or the bot, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.